Alright you guys, so we've been sitting here for well over an hour here trying to cross the border into Seattle and so I figure I'm just going to start the vlog right now. So we are on our way down to obviously Seattle to do an install on a Camaro and uh, hopefully we can cross over with no hiccups or no problems. But it's been so long to the point where uh, yeah, Johnny fell asleep. Three hours at the border, it took us three hours to clear. But finally we're here two hours later, we're here. And I guess there's a change in the game plan. We're not going to start on because we're a little late right now starting. So we're going to, instead of working on the Camaro, um, we're going to work on the GTR. Uh, of course, this is actually the harder one to work on, you guys, because we're going to have to custom everything. And uh, what we're going to do is the upper bumper and the lower bumper, no lip. So that's okay, but uh, everything's gonna be custom, you guys. Yeah, the lip and then the grill, like that, that line around the grill, so that it doesn't have to happen again. Um, Johnny, how is it to work chair. without the luxury of the shop? Huh? I need my chair. <laughs> and my lip. No like, hoist, eh? And my Claymore. <laughs> this is what real work is, eh? Cool. <laughs> real real good. <laughs> Where are we going to eat tonight? Anywhere. Johnny. What? Chick fil A? No. Is there Chick fil A here? Yeah, there's Chick fil A here. Chick -fil -A. Or uh, In and Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chick fil A? <laughs> Chick fil A is better. <laughs> Way better. What is this, 48? Despite we uh, started a little late today, but it turned out like super, super clean. 
the only thing I gotta do is just a couple of uh, touch-ups right here. I just gotta finish it up. Just gonna start wrapping it all in. But other than that, it's really, really nice. Turned out really nice, you guys. I just gotta double check everything. Uh, most likely we're gonna have to turn the car around and I'll uh, finish the bottom of the lip and then double check everything and it should be all good. This one should be good to go. It's so bright out, you guys, but so we gotta get the car prepped up. And it's so dirty. So Jack's put on a few miles on it and it has bug guts and everything all over this. We're gonna have the clay bar and everything, but uh, let's get it all cleaned up for you guys. <laughs> good old hand wash. Gotta get the... Yeah, gotta get the dome too. Put a few miles on this thing. Look at bug guts everywhere. All right, guys. So we're uh, all cleaned up now, and we just laid the film down. We're gonna do a full front clip, and we're gonna start with the fender here. It's, we're limited with space, so we're gonna work with what we have here, you guys. So I'm gonna start laying it down, and then uh, we'll go from there. It's all done, you guys. So I wrapped it all in. It's turned out super clean. Lumar Valor, you guys, is what we use if you're wondering what kind of film we use. I'm just waiting for a couple of things to dry up and then I'm gonna wrap it all in. Same as uh, behind the uh, fender here. I'm gonna wrap it into the um, inside here uh, just so that when you wash it and stuff, um, it's easier to uh, not get blown off or get blown holes inside of it. Uh, it just gives it a nice clean look. So up next, we're gonna do the upper bumper here. All right guys, so my habits is I like to wrap everything in it just so that it doesn't blow like or have chances of uh, when the customer washes the vehicle that it doesn't blow into the uh, paint protection. So make sure you wrap it all in and you just give it a nice pinch and it gives it a nice clean finish you guys. Look at that, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Jack's gonna love this one. His car, well, he drove quite a bit on it and it had a lot of problems in the front, but it looks nice now, you guys. Absolutely nice. I'm going to go ahead and go and wrap that in too. So up next, we're going to do the power dome here. Hopefully it doesn't give us any uh, headaches, you guys. The only thing I'm concerned about is the, uh, the emblems here. Sometimes they're hand-placed and uh, they're not uh, consistent. So cross your fingers. Hopefully it fits nice. So for the emblems, uh, fit not too bad it's a slight on the tad on the small side but it's okay we can always stretch the film but overall it's a good fit so far i don't see myself trimming or the need to trim around this emblem here but you know even if you have the trim you'd rather have a little bit big to play with rather than uh too short when the kit fits Decently, it makes the job so much easier, you guys. So you do want to go with a company that creates pretty decent kits. Um, it saves you a lot of time, and of course, when it comes to time, time is money. And uh, when the kit fits nice, it saves you money on not redoing stuff and saving film too. I tell you, Amazon don't fool around. Just pounding it right now. 
Look at that dome, you guys, all done. Just a little bit of like moisture left here and there, but super nice and shiny and it's gonna stay like that for a very, very long time, you guys. So on that next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the lower bumper here. Obviously the hardest part of this job. Um, we're just gonna clean it up, let it soak in a little bit because there's a lot of bug guts still on even though we cleaned it. We're gonna let it uh, soak in a little bit and then wipe it down and then have it ready to install. So we're almost done, you guys. Uh, it actually went really, really smooth. We just got a couple or more spots to finish up here, but this relatively is really easy. We're gonna lay this down underneath the uh, canard or the or dive planes, or whatever you wanna call these things. Um, but thankfully, the kit fits just, just beautifully. Um, no trimming so far, but like I said, when I mean, you got a nice kit that fits perfectly, like this one, we're using uh, Core. Uh, it's a Lumar product, and so far, just flawless. Hasn't failed us, you guys. Yeah, check it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description below uh, for all the products that we're using today and the program that we're using, guys. If you guys are interested or want to start up your own stuff. So we're pretty much all done the front end now there's one more thing that we got to do but unfortunately uh well there's a reason why this is the product that you need so originally this windshield was pretty new and unfortunately before i got here he picked up a chip but we're gonna go ahead and still install the film and uh prevent more of these from happening in the future so this is the film that we're going to install it's called stack dino flex and uh this is like this is like cream of the crop you guys So we're pretty much done here, you guys. Yeah. It's going to see a little bit of waviness and some bubbles, but that's normal. That will disappear within a couple days, depending on your weather, where you live. But uh, yeah. only a couple yeah, days. Yeah. So now, Jack's all protected now. And now he can do whatever he wants yeah. to do and I confronted, with his buddies. Uh, I asked Paul <laughs> when we were at the event. It's Hey man, Alright guys, so we're about to uh, put some paint protection film on Jack's uh, R8 headlamps, but they were so pitted up to the point where even if we put some film over top of it to protect it, it's, it's so bad. And this is a big problem with BMWs, Mercedes, using this Lexani uh, glass here, or headlamp uh, glass. But uh, I already started on the other side where we're going to hit it with some some sandpaper and it's it's really nice and smooth now so it's pretty down to where i like i started out with 800 and finished it off with the uh, 2000 grit 
most of the pitting is gone. It's pretty smooth now. So it looks pretty hazy. It looks pretty bad right now. So we're, we're going to hit it with some polish, with a polisher. And then we'll put some film over top of it and we'll show you the difference between the two. Now this is the, the most important part is you got to put some paper protection like, over like the top of it and, and that will keep it from coming like back because if you don't, even though it looks oh, nice man, and fine right know. now, it will come back. So that's the, uh, that's the most important step that I want to do. Oh yeah. Oh, we can. Wait, let's, let's gather the parts. Where's the jacket? There you go. So now this is all protected now. Now all that pitting and stuff will never come back because the film is going to protect it and take all the uh, sandblasting uh, effect away. So this is all good. I'll show you the other side. See the difference. It's pretty bad, eh? So now we're going to do it to this side, you guys. What do we think? Dude, it's literally brand new. I'm like looking in, I'm like, it's, there's so much clarity. I can see them all, all back again. The nice thing is it's going to stay like that. Dude, what's crazy about PPS is like, there's not much that you, you can even like react to when you see it because it's invisible. Yeah. So you're like seeing the non-existentness of it and that's the impressive part. And you're like, whoa. But yeah, now these boys are protected. We actually, I thought, that this was PPF, but I guess this is just the scene and how the headlight the molding, was yeah. um, created, but yeah, yeah, this is much better than that. Big difference. Oh yeah. Better than a new headlight, eh? Yeah, pretty much. You guys <laughs> bought me a brand new one. $5,000 right there. So we're just, uh, so Jack's decided to, um, so we're trying to get a, so we're trying to get a thumbnail, so Jack is re rearranging the uh, cars. So the thumbnail looks a little better. I think just like this. That's probably good right there.